What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of The Dropping Professor. For those of you who are actually new to the channel, I am your host, Rashid White, and I've been driving uh, professionally for the past 21 years now, uh, driving tractor trailers and buses, and this channel is uh, designed to teach people advanced defensive driving strategies that's not normally taught in the driving schools, only really taught to us actually professional drivers, and I'm here actually teaching it to you now. Um, so this channel is uh, really more designed on saving people time, money, uh, personal injury, and most importantly, your life. All right, let's get right into it over here, man. We're doing uh, some truck crashes over here. And these are supposed to be, uh, this is actually from Europe, I think. Um, so let's get right into it. You know, we go all over the world here, man. We're gonna go to China, we go to Japan. Uh, Mexico uh, we're gonna do a lot of this stuff around driving around the world all right let's get right into this here all right, let's see Oof. I don't know if that person actually made it but, um, all right, so if you're the person in this truck right here, uh, that's actually with the dash cam, uh, one, you have to leave yourself an out. That's the main thing. Leave yourself an out. Uh, two, stay away from the clusters. Uh, three, you have to get the big picture um, as this truck driver here. Once you've seen, uh, um, um, for you, you have to actually get the big picture. You have to see that the truck on the, on the side of the road was actually parked and then this truck was actually what well, this car was going to run into him you can see it right here see he's actually too close right here so right now this tractor trailer right now this guy in the dash cam should be backing off right now he should be slowing down dramatically big time big time you know you always have to think uh think ahead here we got to think three dimensionally and you you know <laughs> If this truck was a slam on his brakes and this guy was a slam on his brakes, he's in some serious, serious trouble because he can't even move into this lane. And who's to say that there actually is not a, uh, another truck behind him or another car behind him. So we don't know what type of space in that he actually really has right now. So uh, this is a, a definitely a preventable accident on our person in the truck. So what I, what I mean by preventable accident, and I think I'm gonna do a video on, on this, explain it in great detail. It's, uh, we don't look at here or in the professional driving field that who's at, actually at fault, you know? Now this car that actually slammed into the back of the parked truck is certainly at fault there. But um, we look at how these accidents can actually be prevented, you know? Again, these, the, the focusing on thinking like this and having this kind of mind frame saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of energy. So think about it. You could be going somewhere. You could be, you know, you have an appointment, whatever, you know, something extremely important and you get into an accident that can, uh, you know, be, uh, you know, um, prevented. So this is over here. The main thing is time, time that you certainly can't get back. And you having to, you know, be into a serious accident and, um, you know, being in a wreck, uh, rehab and stuff like that, potentially losing a limb and, and being maimed, being crippled for the rest of your life is no good. So let's take this uh, really seriously, guys. And uh, again, life is the, uh, the, the the most ultimate thing here. So I don't know if this guy actually made it in this, this little car here. And you know, I blame Europe for this actually their high gas prices, man, because people in Europe are actually forced to actually... Um, you know, get these small cars because of the high uh, cost of gasoline. So, you know, a bigger, bigger SUV, bigger car is more protection in a sense, though. All right, let's move on. Yeah, this is this is certainly not. Ooh. Jesus. The same thing with this truck over here, man. He needs to recognize what's going on. He could, you know, he could have actually got over to the left lane in a sense, though. Once he saw that car lost control. Ooh, ooh, let's look at that one more time. All 
Uh, look like I tracked the. Tr I look like the truck. Cause this, this is in Europe, so never been there. But it looks like the truck, the trailer, or this truck over here actually blew the light. And if you're gonna blow the light, cause like I said, I mean, I, 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 don't blow, don't blow red lights. <laughs> but um, for our person that got hit by the truck, um, this accident could have been prevented. You gotta look at the speed, even though it's green for you right here. I think it's green, it looks green. Even though it's green, but green doesn't necessarily mean go. So you gotta look at the speed of the truck that's actually coming. And it's equivalent to like when you're crossing the street. So when you're crossing the street, um, you gotta see how fast the other person is going. You make a determination from there, whether it's safe to cross or not, in a sense though. So it's the same thing. This truck was coming way too fast. And if this person died, I'm not sure. Uh, you, you know, as, as, as you know, as, us as uh, you know, CDL holders, we're definitely held to higher standards. And you're looking at vehicular manslaughter over here, man. This is not you're not an amateur driver. You're considered uh, the uh, cream of the crop, the best of the best out there. And they hold you to a higher standard. So. Um, you know, there's certain ways of actually blowing red lights, and this is not one of them, you know. And uh, you you slow down, you cover your brake at the intersection, uh, you know. And uh, this is unfortunate right here, because this is, on both both sides, this, guy, this actually could have been prevented right here. Uh, hmm, I don't know. Let's see, let's check this out one more time. Yeah, maybe the truck actually could have came into came into this lane over here. You got to look 12 to 15 seconds ahead, and that 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 includes the opposite lane. Sometimes you're gonna to have to go into the uh, the opposing lane sometimes, but you have to look 12 to 15 seconds and actually see whether that lane is actually clear or not. So you're driving and, uh, you know, you gotta definitely gotta read the situation here. And, and um, this is the first time, you know, this is the first time I'm actually watching this, but I think this truck could have avoided this, uh, this accident right here. Um, but even I even hitting the brakes, slamming on the brakes, man. And then um trying to get over a little bit. Well, actually, this car was coming though. What was the speed of this car? And he stopped. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. Let's see this one more time. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know what happened there, man. You can't even get a full picture of that. <laughs> if this guy is a truck, as a if he's if he's a um, a car or a tractor trailer, he should not be in this left lane. That's the main thing. Um, I'm assuming that maybe. There was a, um, there was a, what do you call it? Um, an intersection and he tried to beat the truck out. <laughs> but it looks like this person is definitely going to be okay here. And nothing you're gonna really do about that one. You can't avoid that. Right, let's look at this one one more time. I mean, certain things just can't be prevented. I mean, the main emphasis on this channel is to um, prevent accidents, but sometimes there's accidents that just can't be prevented.
Yeah, I mean, if that was a card, I mean, that was a card, uh, the um, truck could actually avoid that accident, but there's only but so much, you know, um, he can actually do to avoid this collision. He only has like a, a certain degree, maybe 10, 15 degrees, he can actually turn that truck without actually losing control and flipping it over, you know, so... Uh, uh, maybe the person was texting or, you know, he could have a, a medical a medical episode behind the wheel. Uh, this happens uh, a lot of times. person has a seizure, a heart attack. And, and this is certain things that, you know, you're not going to be able to actually prevent. And this is certainly one of them here. All right, so let's look at this one more time. All right, so once this, all right, this person is actually still moving. He's not breaking. Doesn't look like I can't tell. Um, the best thing you can actually do is slow down as much as possible and avoid uh, a, a high speed impact in a sense though you don't want two cars uh coming in the opposite direction and and, and uh, head on in a sense so that's how people get killed but um maybe this person is coming left this way um and there's nothing behind this car that actually lost control he can hit his brakes and then try to go and you know make a you know get into the, the opposite lane right there, potentially avoiding this this uh, this crash right here. But uh, you know um, you definitely don't want a, a head-on collision. Those are the actual those are the worst right there. Yeah, again, you just got to slow down at the intersection right there. It doesn't look like there's any type of traffic lights here. Uh, you Again, like I said in the uh, thing was in this video, you have to judge the speed of other vehicles that's actually coming. It's equivalent of actually crossing the street. Same exact thing. Truck was coming way too fast, uh, but um, no traffic lights or anything like that. Big major intersection. The truck, you know, needs to slow down. He needs to get down to like maybe five miles an hour. That's what they try to tell us, um, you know, where I'm at. You know, they say, hey, get down to three to five miles an hour during uh, at every intersection to um, avoid things like this. And uh, it's just certainly not good. We're going to wrap this one up over here. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, share it. You know, and when you share the universe, certainly shares back with you. Uh, that's certainly a promise. And uh, I thank you guys for certainly watching. Peace.